had a user reach out to us via our support page on our website. They asked if it was possible to extract Instagram users from a hashtag page. The answer is yes. But rather than just tell them how to do it, I thought, why not make a template I could share with everyone and record a video. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. Before I show you the bot in action, let me just tell you that in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the template, which is found on our website, but you'll also gain the knowledge of how to build the bot yourself, because I'm going to take you through it step by step. Okay, let's get going and show you the bot in action. This is the page we're going to use in this demo. It's a hashtag page with soft drinks. We're going to basically visit the pages of these posts. We're going to extract the users here and also the, the username and the, the user link. And then we're going to write that data to a Google Sheet. So let's just open Axiom. I've got Axiom open already. This is the bot I've made. This is the template you can get from our store. It's all absolutely done with zero code and there's minimal configuration, which I'll walk you through. You'll basically need to add, uh, uh, sorry, you'll need to add a Google Sheet to write your data to and from. And that's pretty much it. Anyway, let me just click play and walk you through the bot. So I'm going to run the bot on our desktop app. You can also run it in the cloud. This is the bot opening up. And first of all, it's going to open up that hashtag page you see. See, my hands are here. This is like, I like I said, this is just the fun part. This is pretty damn cool. First of all, the bot is going to go down the um, page and it's going to scrape the links. One of the challenges with this page, while the bot does that, I'm just going to talk it through, was basically, let me collapse that. The bot's going to continue running in the background. Don't worry about that. One of the challenges of this, challenges of this page was the two sections. We've got top posts and we've got most recent. Most recent containing the majority of the post. So I'll explain how I solved that in a bit. So let me just go back to here. And you can see Axiom is continuing to scroll down. I'm looking to extract the um, top rated and then get some of the links below in, in, in the rest of the content. Once the bot's finished doing that, it should write it into the Google Sheet here. In the Google Sheet, I have um, two tabs. Let me just show you here. I have links and data. So the links, as you can see, they've just appeared here. I should have 109. Why do I have 109? Well, that's the amount I set the bot to get. So we've got nine of the links from top posts and 100 from most recent. I'll just quickly show you the logic behind that. That's because I've got two scraping steps, one for the nine, and one set it to 100. So you can see, back to the bot, you can see the links have come in. Now the bot's gonna loop through. It's already made a start on it. And basically we've got, if I just, we've got the URL to the profile and the hash, basically they're, um, what are they called again? Completely forgotten, slipped my mind. Let's just continue. Uh, basically their tag or their ID, user ID. And um, you can see here the bot is looping through extracting those and writing to the to the sheets as I go on. So let's leave the bot to do that because that is the beauty of bots, my friends, that they carry on doing your work. It doesn't really matter what speed they go at. Some people think they're too slow, but, but generally they're governed by the speed of the browser. They're not as fast as APIs because obviously an API can chuck a huge amount of data down a pipe in a very quick time. But they work whilst we can do other things. So that is really cool. Anyway, I'm, I'm digressing and keep taking you through how the bot is made. Okay, so you can see the bot's still running there. That's so damned cool. And now I'm just gonna go back to explaining how the bot is set up, walk you through step by step. Remember, this is available as a template on our website. If you go to Axiom slash templates or recipes, whatever it is, just look for the top link. Um, we just Sorry, I said a bit confusing, but we're just updating the page as we speak. Now let's continue with the bot. Let me walk you through how it's set up. And that will teach you how you can literally build the bot from scratch yourself and just what little configuration you need to do. So we've basically split the bot into two parts. We have the initial part of the bot that scrapes basically scrapes the um, page and then we have another part of the bot that lifts the, takes the data from the sheet and loops through the pages. Now let's talk you through the first part of the bot. We have an interact step. Very quickly, interact steps are, contain all the sub steps. You can see one here, go to page, get, get things 
get data from page. The sub steps do all the interacting with the browser. There's also enter text, click on buttons if you want to build different types of fonts. Now I've added an interact step. I've put my go to URL in here, and that's of the hashtag page. And what I did was add a single get data from step. I had to select my data here, so I had to click, click, and I just moved myself out of the way. You can see I've got the preview, but it's as simple as point of clicks. I did set the data type to get link. Obviously, you can get different types of data. Press complete. That's the first scrape done. I limited the results to nine because what I observed from the page was there are nine results for top post. And this is what I talked about earlier in the video that I had to add two scrape steps to do this. Okay, we don't need a page yet. And I limited the results to nine because you only actually need one nine results and, and I reduced the missing weight to one just to speed the bot up a little bit. Now I'm going to collapse that. Now I added a second interact with page interface step. I deleted the go to URL which you can see isn't here. Just do that and it stops the bot from reloading the page. And I added a second scraping step which is set up exactly the same way except I'm targeting the data most recent the reason I've done them separately is because they're class, they have different container divs and the classes are going to change. Now back to the bot briefly, let's just see if that's carrying on. Look, you can see it's carrying on going through the list and my list is growing there. Okay, now let's continue with the lesson. So I've got my two interact steps there and they basically scrape all the, all the um, links we want to visit. Now I've got an append merge data because these will spit data out in separate columns and they'll come in column A, column B. So what I've done is take this two interact steps and the other interact step there and I've merged them vertically. Not horizontally because then they'll still be column A, column B. I merged them vertically to make one nice long list which I then use a, a right step. Right steps allow you to output data to a Google Sheet I've got my sheet name here. You can open, you will need to add your own sheet in here. I suggest following a similar structure, two tabs at the bottom, links and data. In this first right step, this is where you'll need to do some configuration. You'll need to put your sheet in, add the link sheet, and then make sure this is toggled on, add to existing data, just in case you do some more writes, it'll just keep adding, it's important. Now I'm just going to collapse the right step and proceed to the read. Now we have a read step here and that will read the data. So we're now moving to the part where we're going to loop through the links to extract the um, user tags, which you can see happening here. Okay, so the read step, again, I link to the same sheet this time and I read from the links. This time I'm going to specify starting cells A1 to last cell A1. Why? Because we only want to pass a single row at a time to the next step. Because we're going to loop it later on, which I'm going to explain. And um, let's keep going. So we've set up that read step. Now we're going to have another interact step. And we're going to pass the URLs from the read step in here by using insert data. It's really simple. Look for the... Um, Google step, press save, and now I've passed the URLs into there. I've also then got my get data step here, and what I did was go direct to a page. Let me just open a new link. Scroll back down there, and what all I needed to do is here is press select and choose username there. I changed it to link and now I'm going to show you a little trick I did splitting that the, that data in half to extract the link and the username. I press complete, Axiom scrapes that data. Now before I pass that data back into a Google Sheet to read, what I'm going to do is also split it. So I'm going to split that bit of data because we've just got, we've got the URL and I'm going to break it off at .com with the, the forward slash so I can get this part of the username. Then I'm going to have another split by character step. And I'll just use another another thingy there. 
and then you can see it's removed from the end there and I've got the username. That's pretty cool. Next, I'm gonna just append or merge that data. So essentially now what I do is from the interact step, I just grab the URL and then, sorry, I've clicked the wrong thing there. Let me just go back to here. Let's so split my character. Yeah, append or merge. Here we go. And make sure I've got the right interact step URL. And then I'm going to append the split by character data you can see here. And in the preview, I've got the URL and I've got the name now, which I extracted using the split by character. Now that data is ready to write to a sheet. So I've got it connected to my Google Sheet here. Again, look for your Google Sheet. You will need to replace the Google Sheets in any of our sheet read and write steps. Simple to do, you can search for your sheets. Add your sheet name. The data will already probably be in the template. It'll already be connected, but you can check the connecting, connecting, connections yourself. And this is where I want to use the append data step. Press save. I know I've got the right data. Always have the add to existing toggled on. Generally, I use that mostly because um, that continues writing to the sheet. The other option is um, clear data before writing. That's when you'll notice the sheet keeps emptying and then it writes again. Useful in some use cases. So that writes the data, which you can see is happening just here. And I think, well, I think that box actually stopped, hasn't it? Because I only did 20 loops. Back to that loop in a second. Okay. So we've done the append, we've done the right step. Now let's go to the delete. The important part of this loop, this sub loop within this axiom now is the delete because essentially what we're doing, as I showed you earlier, back in step five, we read a single row, then we go through, scrape that, extract the data we need, write it to a sheet, then we delete that row from the links because it's been done. And that, so basically we, we put the spreadsheet in again, add the sheet, and we just delete the first row. Then we trigger our loop to complete scraping those links. And we basically we use a jump step to do that. That basically jumps all the way back to five, rinse and repeat. And it just does that as many times as we tell it. So we can do a thousand, a hundred, etc. In the moment we're set to, for 20 so i think i must press the wrong key board and then um yeah 20 so i could put 100 etc okay that's the essence of the bot you can build this all yourself from scratch it's just as simple as clicking add step finding the steps you want to use top tip if you are building a bot from scratch think about how that bot is structured so if you need to get data from somewhere add the data source first then the interact step etc Okay, cool. Hope you found this useful. Like I said, this will be a template on our website within a week or so of this video being posted on YouTube. And um, yeah, keep on building bots. It's actually awesome fun. And like I said, they do your work whilst you can do other things. Cool, bye-bye.